How do you do? Hello, ma'am. Hello, mister. Partner. Hello there. Is everything going well? Too sober to smile. Doing, boy. Okay, fella. Hello. Hey, mister. Hey, boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Easy, easy. My friend, I am proud of you all. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses and relax a little. Someone's coming. I'll be back. No crime. I fight for your country. Tell me if this ain't tired enough. Get your filthy rope off me, you peasant. All right, let's go. Release me right now. Making a big mistake. This is uh, very kind of you.
Here. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? I wish you was worth a hundred. You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Yeah, well, blame your parents for that, not me. I am no criminal. I fight for you, for all of us, for our future. You don't fight for me. <laughs> and the future? Well, that won't be a concern of yours for much longer. Turning on each other. This is what they want. Don't you see that? Come on, don't be an errand boy for the gutless state. We got you, Captain. Ain't no Lemoyne Raider going to federal jail. Here they are. Here's where we wipe that smile off your face, bounty hunter. of a beach. now, uncomfortable as it is, and when it's already too late. Here's some advice for you. Skip the last meal. Cowards like you always spoil their britches when the noose drops. You can go to hell. Oh, I intend to. Not before you, my friend. <laughs> now, shut your goddamn mouth. Making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. Here we go. Anyway, shit. I got the Millamont, and he ain't happy about it. Strike me down. Sheriff. Put him in the cell, then. You are a traitor, Sheriff Tomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problem. Too damn noisy for folks good. what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. You have not seen the last of us. <laughs> Collaborator. Traitor to your cows. Stranger.
Hey there, Love mister. Picking up their slack Mister. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Excuse me. Someone help! I don't want any help. sir. Mister? What the hell?
There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired Europeans. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city stinking of shit and looking like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, 
Mr. Van der Lind. Why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'll check this way. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. This one out. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word and keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Keep on them. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Shush. Wait. Hey, hey. Hold on. Stop. Shush. Hey, wait a second. Quiet. No, oh, I'm sorry. I had a bit to drink. 
Her friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the mall. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side.
Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. I think we lost him. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Get this done. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just oh, simple man. country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed a toy box and lots of books did they do anything to you have you ever had spaghetti what what's that it's food it looks like worms but it's delicious is that right papa bronte teach me lots of italian words don't call him that please you know caballo that means horse and pantafola that's a slipper a slipper they gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. 
How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a Hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Out of the air, <laughs> play us away. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Un par de ojitos negros y un cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. No se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. How are you, Mary Beth? <laughs> we did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. Tahiti, dear boy, Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Here you are. Eat up. Thanks. Did I ever tell you boys about the time I was hanging? Uh, I think so. 
Ahí les Tell us again. Con mis amigos. Sure. Que si ven a mi querida, so I got caught doing no le digan que something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <laughs> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Gentlemen, might as well rest while you can. No order and suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. He asked me for a life You okay, Pierce? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. Where I want to be. Just like a regular home. evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? He climbed me. He me. He me. to the wall. He never me. He me. He me. He me. He me. He me. He Ain't nothing normal about any of this. You're right about that. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. Javier plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Come on, Kieran, join in. Oh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. Oh, up. Uh... 